concept of the ratio. Let's see some questions. Suppose we are given X and Y. Here, X is given three and Y is given six. Now, suppose X becomes A. So what is Y? The rule is very simple. We just write it here, three upon six equal to eight upon Y. Because this value we don't know. So now, we have to do cross multiplication. Cross multiplication is done like this. It means y will be multiplied to 3. So it will become 3y. And this 6 will be multiplied to 8. So 6 into 8. Now y will be equal to, we can divide both sides by 3. 6 into 8 divided by 3. We can consider 3, 2, 6. 3, 2, 0. So it will be 16. So here answer is 16. We can also observe 3, 2, 6. So 8, 2, 16. If you, we write here 9, so if we apply that concept, like 3, 2, 6, 8, 2, 16, then 9, 2, 18. Suppose we write here 21. So we have to write the number which should be double of this 21. So it should be 42. I think you have understood. I'm going to give another example. Suppose x is 1, y is 3. Now, when x becomes 3, what is y? So here, if we see 1, 3, here, 3. So we have to multiply 3 to 1 to get 3. So here again, we have to multiply it by 3 to this number. So we will get 9. Suppose we write here 12. So we have to multiply by 3. So it will be 36. If we write, suppose 8, then again, we have to multiply by 3. So it will be 24. Right. Suppose we write here 5. And what is y? So, as I told you, we can directly multiply by 3 or we have option. We can take any one. Like suppose we take this 1, 3 and we write 5 and here y is not known. So, we can write y. Then we do cross multiplication. So, when we do cross multiplication, then it will become y into 1. That is y equal to 5 into 3. So 5 into 3. So y will be 15. So I think you have understood. Now, let's take one more question. X and Y. Here, this is 7. This is 2. Next, when this becomes 4, then what will be? Y. So another technique is there. But let's apply the same technique as you have studied. So 4 divided by 5. We make cross multiplication. So it will become 2y equal to here 2, 2 into y and 4 into 7. 4 into 7. So that is y equal to 4 into 7 divided by 2. That will become 14. All right. Now we write here 5. So what is next number? So again, same thing we can write 2 upon 7. We take this one, 2 upon 7, and here y is to be found. So 5 upon 5 upon y. So we make cross multiplication. So we get 2y equal to 7 into 5, which gives y equal to 7 into 5 divided by 2. That is 35 by 2. Now, questions for you. X upon Y. X is 7. Y is 4. 
y is 3, so what is it? So we have to find out. Then suppose this is 5, then what is y? You have to find out. Then suppose this is 12, what is y2? You have to find out. Suppose this is 8, then what is x2? You have to find out. Then suppose this is 9, so what is y3? You have to find out. Then suppose this becomes 10, and what is y4? So this is the first question. So here you have to find out x1, y1, y2, x2. These are variables you have to find out. Now, this is the first question. One more question for you. X1, Y. Here, this is 2, this is 8. Then, this is 4, what is Y? This is 6, what is Y? This is 16, this is suppose 32, then what is Y? Not y but x. This is suppose 48. So what is x? This is suppose 60. So what is? So these are two questions that you have to solve and you will send me the answer. Further, I can give you one more example how to solve x, y, suppose 2, 3. Here, 4, this is y1, this is, say, 9, this is x1. Suppose you have to find out. So first, you will consider this, the first part. So 2 upon 3 equal to 4 upon y1. Make cross multiplication. So 2 times y1 equal to 4 multiplied by 3. So y1 equal to 4 into 3 divided by 2. So you can answer by 2, 4, so you will get 6. So you can say y1 you have got as 6, right? So this we have got as 6. Now, again, so we continue in the same way. So we can take these 2 and 3 and then x1 and 9. 2y3 equals x1 upon 9. Make cross multiplication. So 9 into 2 equal to 3x1 or x1 equal to 9 into 2 divided by 3. That will give 6. So answer here, it will be 6. I think you have understood. Here, I think that there is doubt. So we can study it another way. So we take this 4, 2 and 3, 2 by 3 equals, we take these two. So x1 upon 9, we write by class multiplication, 3x1 equal to 2 into 9. Now divide by 3 both sides. So here in this side, you will get x1, and this is 2 into 9 divided by 3. So 3, 3 are 9. This will be cancelled by 3 here. So you will get 6. So that is why x1 is 6. I think you have understood. Thank you.